Former NFL executive uh, Michael Lombardi. He knows Jim Schwartz really well, um, has been with him in a couple of places. Here is what he has seen from Jim Schwartz's defense with the Browns. When you study Schwartz's career, you've never, when he plays the wide nine, you've never been able to run the ball on him because he's really good at teaching run fits. You know, everybody, you hear this rhetoric, Bill. Oh, they're in a nine man, they're in an eight man front. Okay, that's great. But sometimes if you're if you're on the not on the same level of the eight man front, you're really not in an eight man front. You know, your levels are distorted. Everything gets kind of it's like a zone. If you're not playing it correctly, it gets messed up. So his run fits are really good. And you can't run bootlegs or naked on him because his ends are too wide. So you take away a whole element of some easy throws for a quarterback. And they run to the football. And then when they get into a passing situation, now he's taking Garrett and moving them all over the place. And he says, okay, who's your worst lineman? Okay, I got that. Here comes Garrett. Now you block him one-on-one. Right. The other misconception about football is it's like basketball. If you have a bad line and Tennessee doesn't have a good line, don't rush three and don't rush four because somebody can double team somebody on three. But if you have a shitty line, rush five. Because that means somebody has to block one-on-one all the time. And that's what Schwartz did. And then he gets Garrett. I mean, he had him on Ted Karras. I love Ted Karras. We drafted him in New England. Great kid. Tough guy. But one-on-one with Miles Garrett, in, you know, driving to the lane, that's going to be two points every time. And that's what he did. And again, Quincy, when you look at it that way, you're seeing the recipe for Jim Schwartz's defensive matchups. It's staying pretty consistent. Yeah, I mean, it's real easy, too, because he has Miles Garrett and he has all these pieces to play with and all these pieces to move around. And it's easy to win a chess game, Dave, when you got nothing but queens and kings (laughs) out there. Right. Like it's real easy. And that's what he's working with. He's working with with a board full of queens protecting one king. And that's that's where you want to be at. He has a lot of guys who could be in a lot of different places, who can make a tackles, a lot of different parts of the field um, who are very athletic and very fast. And then he has the queen of queens and Miles Garrett because Miles can do it all, do it all dominantly and scare the living uh, daylights out of offensive and de- offensive coordinators, offensive linemen, and offensive line coaches.